It's time for kickoff of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Plays a short ball to Michaela Coolahan. There's a 30-yard shot from Coolahan and a goal to open the scoring for BYU. Live play-by-play coverage is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Also brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Now for today's call, here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Good afternoon, Cougar soccer fans, and welcome pitch side inside Klockner Stadium on the grounds of the University of Virginia, site of today's NCAA tournament second round meeting between the Region 4 seed, the BYU Cougars, and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Second all-time meeting between the two programs, first ever in the postseason. The winner will on Saturday face the survivor from tonight's nightcap, hitting a Region 1 seed, Virginia, and Milwaukee with the Saturday winner advancing to the Elite Eight. My name is Greg Grubel. I'll have your play-by-play call today. With me is the former BYU soccer standout and current administrative assistant, Rachel Manning-Jorgensen. We'll hear from Rachel shortly. But first, my pregame conversation with BYU head coach Jennifer Rockwood, brought to you by Zions Bank, for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. And Coach Rockwood, Today, talking about the challenge of facing a Bama side that blanked high-scoring Clemson to set up today's match. Not looking past any unseated opponent in the round of 32, especially a team from the SEC. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Alabama's uh, done great this year. Um, they're an SEC team, so they always are going to have great players. We played them a few years ago and, you know, did not, you know, barely snuck out of there with a win. So, you know, uh, beating Clemson's a pretty big feat. That was a, a tough challenge for them, and so they've scored a lot of goals. We know they're going to be physical. They've got some. They, they like to attack out out of the back like we do. So, um, yeah, we'll have to be at our very best. We have to be sharp, uh, especially on the road, traveling. Got to be a little bit more focused than at home. So, just an exciting opportunity for us. Um, you know, we'll we'll keep doing what we do. We're not going to change anything. We're just aware of what what Alabama does, but we'll try and do our own thing. Is there anything to the fact that it's a third SEC team? You've already played two SEC teams, didn't get the result you want, and probably mm-hmm. felt that you could have played better in both matches. You get another crack at the SEC now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we we try and go out and play uh, big schools and. You know, I think what we did uh, in our non-conference really helped us prepare. You know, we had to struggle through some things that didn't come easy and, um, you know, took a few losses that we thought we were the, you know, the better team overall. And, you know, soccer does that sometimes. But uh, SEC is a very physical conference. Uh, we, we, Arkansas was extremely physical. They've had tremendous success. Ar- Auburn was successful this season, too, and very physical. So I think we just have to be prepared for the physicality of Alabama um, had some of that in our New Mexico game, mm-hmm. so I think we're well prepared. We've seen a little bit of everything this year. Okay. What has you most confident heading into this weekend? The girls are in a great place. I think they feel confident. We, you know, had a big game against Pepperdine with a win that we got it out, and then just played really well and really sharp against New Mexico. And so I just think everybody is is playing well right now. It's it's definitely a team. Um, that works together and talks and communicates and and feeds off each other. We also obviously have some very dangerous weapons that uh, we hope to see. Okay, first things first, you know Alabama could be waiting on the weekend, and that's the team that took you out in the spring. Well, I think it's it's definitely motivation when you see what opportunities are uh, if you get past Alabama. Definitely would love a different another chance. Uh, Virginia, who's had even a better year this year than they had in the spring, but obviously that doesn't matter until we um, face Alabama and got to play good soccer and and you know might have to get it out too. But we've been scoring a lot of goals this year. That should bring a lot of confidence and. Uh, I think Cam and Kayla didn't score as much as they wanted to in the last two games, so I know they're they're very anxious, and and I think we'll we'll be headed towards the goal. Jen, thank you for the preview. Best of luck against the Crimson Tide. We'll talk to you post match. Awesome, thanks, Greg. That is BYU head coach Jennifer Rockwood. Time now for tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Larry H. Miller Auto, driven by you. For the Crimson Tide, it's a 4-4-2. The keepers, McKinley Crone, back line, Raina Reyes, Sasha Pickard, Bella Scaturo, and Jessica Skorka. In the midfield, Riley Tanner, Felicia Knox, Macy Clem, and Ashlyn Sarepka. And up top, Ali Burke and Reagan Powell for BYU. And head coach Jennifer Rockwood, a 4-4-2. Cassidy Smith between the pipes, back line, left to right, Kendall Peterson, Leveni Vaca. Grace Johnson and Olivia Smith in the midfield. Jamie Shepard, Brecken Mozingo, Michaela Coulihan and Olivia Wade. And up top, McKaylee Moore and Cameron Tucker. 
Time now to identify the top Alabama players. BYU looks to cover this evening. It's brought to you by Intermountain Pool Cover. Safety and quality you can depend on. And we're looking at a pair of five-goal scorers for the Crimson Tide, starting midfielder Ashlyn Sarepka, and sometimes a starter, the forward Kate Henderson. They lead the Crimson Tide with 13 and 12 points, respectively. We are ready to play soccer here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Klockner Stadium, home of the Cavaliers, who will play Milwaukee in the second game tonight. The officials, Lucas Feathers is the referee. He's blown the whistle, and we are underway. Bill Dittmar and Robert Velbus are the ARs. The fourth official is Aaron Hormuth. BYU in the All-Royals will be going right to left. Defend the goal to our right. Take it right to left. Crimson Tide in all-white going left to right as we see it and you hear it. And the Crimson Tide control the opening series of touches. A nice interception in the defensive third by Olivia Smith. Smith took it away and plays it long and direct toward the halfway line, targeting Cam Tucker. Intercepted there by the Crimson Tide, but it ricochets to Michaela Coulihan, who now begins a foray into the center circle. Plays it wide left to Kendall Peterson. Starting left back, Petey, centrally to Cameron Tucker. Ball was knocked away from Cam. And Alabama simply plays into touch once dispossessing Cam Tucker. Blasting it into touch. For the Crimson Tide was the center back, Bella Scuturo. BYU throws in, just underway here in Charlottesville. Kendall Peterson from 30 yards left, plays it centrally to Tucker. Rebounds to Coulihan. Coulihan cutting it to her left, tapping, tapping, and playing Tucker. Still inside the penalty area. Tucker tripped up, but player got ball. Play on. Ball comes loose to Shamie Jamie Shepard. Plays it wide right to Mozingo. Mozingo getting herself in a position to shoot and blast over the bar. That lethal left foot from Brecken Mozingo. First shot from the Cougars goes over the woodwork. The Cougars who lead the nation in shots per game get an early one. 90 seconds in off the boot of Mozingo. And why not let Brecken just shoot away, Rachel? She's been so good as the season goes along. More and more confidence and clearly a gifted goal scorer. And especially at the last game in New Mexico, Brecken had a great game. She had two amazing goals. And, I mean, I love one of her first touches in the game. She took a touch inside and was able to rip a shot. Cougs in. Battling for possession in the attacking third. Crimson Tide dispossess and play to the middle third. Tide now. Coming down the middle. Play is wide left. Collecting on the left side. Just skipping past the left side. To Felicia Knox. Toward the end line. Trying to get a cross in. She's at the goal line. Ended up playing it off of Olivia Smith. It'll be an Alabama corner kick in the opening moments of this match. Third minute, and Alabama does win a corner. Felicia Knox will range over to the attacking left flag to take it. Take it. So a left flag corner kick, and it'll be a right booted in swinger with five Crimson Tide players in the goal box right now. Loops a punch from Cassidy Smith, a standing bike, uh uh-oh, and caught Grace Johnson in the face. That high kick, and it clipped Grace. And she is down. The former SEC player, Grace Johnson, taking on SEC foe Alabama in this one. And off that looping corner kick into a steady wind, it took a punch from Smith and then a standing bike and clipped her maybe right in the forehead. And the player who took it immediately realized she caught her and bent down to see how Grace Johnson was doing. That was Reina Reyes who placed that kick. And again, inadvertent, but the placement was such that the foot caught Grace Johnson in the face. And she remains down. And the clock has stopped here. Two minutes and 46 seconds in. BYU trainer Carolyn Billings and assistants are out to tend to Grace. And... Yeah, there's at least a cut, you'd think. And she's down on her back. Kendall Peterson is uh, bent over Grace along with Cassidy Smith, Jamie Shepard, and Leveni Vaca all seeing to their teammate. And this happens just moments into the match. And the dangerous kick has resulted in a yellow card. As with her back to goal... She tried that standing bike, and just Grace was coming up the backside. Raina didn't see her, and as she tried that high kick, it clipped Grace, and so it's a, it's a yellow card officially for unsporting conduct, but it's a dangerous kick. 
And Johnson remains down and now steps to her feet. Has a towel over her forehead. Now there are smiles on the, on the pitch from teammates, so that's a good sign, and even a smile from Grace as she heads toward the touchline. So we hope it's the kind of thing where they can, you know, patch her up, stitch her up if needed, bandage her up, and get her back in the match. She's a really important player for BYU. You hope it doesn't veer toward the concussion side of things. You hope it's more of a, of a surface issue. But either way, it will take Grace out of the match, and it will bring Natalie Wells into the match. So Natalie Wells will sub in as our first Zions Bank substitution and injury sub brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. So Grace Johnson out, Natalie Wells in, and play is now underway, resuming play in the third minute here in Charlottesville. A giveaway for BYU in the defensive half. Reagan Powell dispossessed. Nice back check there from Coulihan, who's knocked down. Foul called. And this is a very physical Alabama team. They've picked up the 13th most yellow cards in college soccer this season. You can hear the wind whipping through our microphone here at Clockner Stadium. We're at the top of the grandstand in the press enclosure. We're outside, but under a roof. And the roof may come in handy because the wind has brought rain clouds along with it. And it looks a little dark and foreboding behind us to the western sky. The sun has dropped behind the mountains behind us to the west. The floodlights illuminate the pitch in this 3,600-seat venue, Clockner Stadium. BYU in the neutral third, Olivia Smith, plays ahead to Coulihan. Coulihan lays off Shepard. The return to Kayla. Kayla, through ball, Cam Tucker. Well done, Cam, the shot, and the score! In the fourth minute, Michaela Coulihan to Cameron Tucker. The Cougars open the scoring in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Beautifully weighted through ball. Keeper had to stay in her box. Cam latching onto it and makes no mistake, Cameron Tucker scores and the Cougars lead 1-0 in the fourth. Beautifully played, started Shepard to Coulihan, Coulihan to Tucker and the right-footed slot home past the keeper crone. BYU won and Virginia no score in the fourth. I love that goal by Cam and I love that goal by BYU as a team in general. They were doing some great two-touch possession in the midfield there and Kayla was able to find Cam on that through ball and Cam's been lethal. She had a you know great opportunity, great shot in the box and was able to tuck it away. Score, number 20, Cameron Tucker, her 15th goal of the season, second in the NCAA tournament, assisted by number eight, Michaela Goulahan at the four-minute mark. So Cameron Tucker with that goal number 15 on the year. Makes it one nothing. Cougars do exactly as they had planned. Score early in this one. That's been the frustrating thing in some of the tougher losses BYU's taken, whether versus Virginia in the spring in the NCAA tournament or, say, Santa Clara at Santa Clara this year, getting early chances and not finishing and finding yourself on the wrong end of a score line. The goal comes early in this one. Fourth minute, and BYU plays from on top. The leading goal-scoring team in the country has scored its 69th goal of the season. Olivia Wade, left wing, into Tucker. Tucker in the area. Ball tapped away from Tucker. And the Crimson Tide play toward the near touch line. Down the right wing. Collecting is Sarepka. Sarepka. Centrally, Burke. Allie Burke. Wide right, Powell. Reagan Powell toward the right end line. Taking Wells to the goal line. Crossing to the top of the area. Bounces away. Loose and Cassidy Smith comes out of her goal box to collect. And BYU will play away here in the sixth minute. BYU 1, Alabama 0 is our score. Besides the goal, Rachel, what would you like most from the early moments in this one? No, I think one of the most important things about BYU starting this game out strong is they started out with some high press energy. I think they've been playing some of their best soccer of the year these last few games, so I think it was important for them to make Alabama feel that energy, not only energy, but confidence right from the start, and I think they've been doing a good job of showing their confidence out there. Career goal number 42 from the always confident Cameron Tucker. She and Coulihan have combined now for 90 goals. 42 for Cam, 48 for Kayla. Arguably the mo one of the most lethal strike tandems BYU's ever fielded in the history of its great program. Cougars trying to set up a meeting with the Virginia-Milwaukee winner on Saturday night. Reagan Powell on the right wing has some space, cuts it back from her right to her left. 
to 25 yards. Defender falls down, clearing Powell for a shot that's blocked at the top of the penalty area. She resets to the left wing. Cross coming in from the left. And off the crossbar, it bounds to the right side of the penalty area. A recross caught by Cassidy Smith. Cassidy leapt, may have gotten a touch to that cross that hit the bar and may have pushed it to the bar. And then controls a loose ball in the seventh minute to keep it 1-0. Good look from Alabama from the left side. And it just drifted off the woodwork. That left-footed cross from the left was angling toward the far upper 90. Cassidy Smith had an angle on it and played it toward the bar, and off the crossbar it went, keeping it 1-0. BYU won, and Alabama no score. We are in the eighth minute. Goal by Cameron Tucker. In the fourth... Alabama controls back line. Let's it roll all the way to the keeper, McKinley Crone. Crone allow, uh, with a goals against average of 1.32. BYU scoring almost four goals per match. A relatively low save percentage of 71.9 compared to Cassidy Smith's 80%. Olivia Wade knocks the ball away to McKaylee Moore, gets it back to Wade, 35 yards straight away. Wade now accelerates to 30. Tries to play it through and left to Moore. McKaylee Moore collects on the left side of the area. Deflected cross. Skips to the keeper, Crone. Eighth minute. BYU 1 and Alabama 0 on goal number 15 on the year for Cameron Tucker. Cameron Tucker, second in the NCAA in goals per game. Scores early to put BYU on top. Crimson Tide play a ball down the right wing that rolls all the way to Cassidy Smith, comes out to the top of her 18 to handle and wheels it out to Olivia Smith. No relation at right back. BYU 1, Alabama 0, and 1-0 is the score by which BYU beat the Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa two years ago in the only meeting between these two programs. Natalie Wells back checking. She plays in place of Grace Johnson. Grace Johnson was brought to the sideline moments ago after taking a kick to the face. And she's yet to re-enter this match. Now she stands to her feet and warming up. She'll be coming back in, it looks like. Grace Johnson is getting ready to re-enter this game. Brecken Mozingo takes a ball at the halfway line. Starts a 4v4 for BYU. Plays it wide right to Tucker. Tucker again. A shot. This one rolls to the keeper. Again through to Cam Tucker and again right side of the area. This shot, though, just skips across the natural turf to McKinley Crone, who collects and keeps it 1-0. We're in the 10th minute. BYU with a fine takeaway in the neutral third. A chipped ball from Jamie Shepard. Racing to it is McKaylee Moore. Coming off her line is McKinley Crone to handle it in the 18th. BYU three shots to one. Two shots to nil in shots on goal. And one to the back of the net. One nil Cougs on the Cameron Tucker goal. Cameron Tucker five goals away from fifth place all time at BYU. Michaela Coolahan's already fourth place all time in BYU scoring. So the Cougs a fighter's chance of putting two players in the top five before the end of this NCAA tournament. Olivia Wade, after mishandling, gives away, and the Crimson Tide collect the neutral third. Michaela Coolahan tries to win it back from Burke. Burke tentatively into the attacking third, lays off to the left back. On the left wing, Crimson Tide collect. Riley Tanner coming centrally, plays Burke through, but Natalie Wells watching it and shielding it to the end line will let it roll over for a BYU goal kick. We're in the 11th minute, and here comes Grace Johnson. So Grace Johnson, after taking a kick to the face in the third minute, checks back in in the 11th minute, and they're going to make a, a straight one-for-one one switch as... Wells went in for Johnson. She'll come out for Grace as Grace re-enters the match. So Grace getting resituated. As Cassidy Smith plays away on the goal kick and plays it right to Grace Johnson. Grace has been bandaged up. As the Crimson Tide play in the neutral third in a 1-0 match, BYU scoring early. We're now in the 12th. McKinley Crone out of her 18. Looking for options and has one. 
on a left side defender, Sasha Pickard. Pickard plays to the halfway line, but right to BYU. Cougars now look to build from the back. Jamie Shepard lost a ball to Tanner. Tanner gets away from Jamie and races into the attacking half. Allie Burke now plays it wide right for Jessica Skorka. Skorka near the attacking right corner flag. Trying to get across in does to the far post. Coming in for the header was Tanner. Skipped over her head and BYU plays away. Not all the way away. Kind of popped up in the air from the defensive 18 but to Shepard. Shepard trying to find Mozingo. Too heavy for her and the Crimson Tide on the intercept. A race toward the attacking 18. Alabama down 1-0. Tried to play the cross in. It was deflected by Olivia Smith over the byline for an Alabama corner kick. Second corner of the match. Both corners have gone to Alabama. BYU leads the nation in corner kicks per game and has yet to take a kick from the corner. So the Crimson Tide second, and they'll go short to Tanner. Riley Tanner now takes it toward the penalty area. Gets into the 18. Tried to play it into the goal box, but deflected away from BYU and over the goal line for a third corner kick of the first half. We're in the 13th minute. Grace Johnson strip of bandaging across the bridge of her nose and like a couple of black eyes forming as well but she's playing this one out corner coming from the attacking left flag a right footed in swinger well above crossbar height double punch by Cassidy Smith to the top of the area targeting the upper 90 left side is Skorka and misses on that attempt wide so it'll be a goal kick for BYU in the 14th minute. Score stays 1-0. Cougs on top. Greg Grubel, Rachel Manning-Jorgensen, your commentary tandem here in Charlottesville, Virginia, Klockner Stadium. BYU women's soccer brought to you in part by Wilner and O'Reilly. Immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. BYU middle third. Play an ambitious ball to Wade. Wade, off a deflection, had to wait for it. Slowed her up enough to where the Crimson Tide end up with it in the defensive third. Take away from Coolahan. Foul by either Wade or Coolahan. I think Michaela may get called for that. And Alabama will restart quickly with Macy Clem blasting to the far side. And a misplay there as it goes right into touch past the intended target, Riley Tanner. So BYU wins a throw at the opposing halfway line. Throw in from Smith to Wade. Wade dispossessed, and here comes Allie Burke into the attack for Alabama. So now slow it down, face rearward, and play wide right to Skorka. The right back, Jessica Skorka. Challenged by Cameron Tucker. Skorka then played into touch on that pressure from Tucker. BYU gets a throw in the Cougs' defensive half. We're 15 minutes in, nearly 15. BYU won, Alabama no score. Cameron Tucker, goal number 42 for her career, 15 on the year. The assist to Michaela Coulihan, a second assist would have come, would have come from Jamie Shepard. Yeah, I believe so. Mozingo plays it long as she's being driven to the ground, and a foul's called on Skorka. It'll give BYU a free kick at 50 yards from goal on the left side. Referee spraying a mark on the pitch on which the Cougars will set the ball and play this free kick so a set piece from distance here for BYU the head coach the Crimson Tide is Wes Hart in his seventh season he's 62 60 and 14 Jennifer Rockwood in her 27th season 421 122 and 46 approaching 600 games coached free kick coming from Mozingo right off the midsection of an Alabama defender Macy Clem at the top of the area. And then the Crimson Tide play it just deep for Grace Johnson to collect. And she does and finds her center back mate, Leveni Vaca. Vaca past the halfway line. They're working on the left side of the pitch right now. The pass is to Tucker. Tucker collects, gets into the left side of the penalty area. Tucker putting it to her right and going far post just wide. You saw that setup. Get a great angle from it for it from up top. And we saw Cam putting it to her right and just targeting that far post. It was deflected on the way over the goal line wide. It'll be a corner kick for BYU. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Attacking right flag. First corner of the match for the Cougs. Olivia Wade will take it and go short with it to Olivia Smith. The 1-2 back to Wade. Wade finds it blocked at the right side of the area. Back to Smith. Smith, Shepard at 30 yards straight away. Jamie lost it on the touch and so too did Reagan Powell 
Ends up on the boot of Kendall Peterson. Peterson left wing Mozingo. Mozingo, Coolahan. Coolahan to her right foot at 30. Blasted it right off the either chest or face of an Alabama player who's down on the ground. And yet to get up, took a blast from Coolahan and stays down as play continues into the attacking half for Alabama. That player is now up and on her feet. Bella Scaturo took that blast from Coolahan. Olivia Smith plays off of Riley Tanner on the back check, and it'll be a goal kick for BYU as it goes over the goal line. We're in the 17th minute. BYU won. Alabama no score. Now the official will come back and check on Scaturo. Again, she took that short space shot off the upper part of her body and was down for a number of seconds. Peterson misconnecting with Mozingo. And Alabama plays into touch. As soon as they receive the ball, they get rid of the ball. And you see a lot of teams in that kind of posture, Rachel, where they feel the pressure from BYU and are less worried about combining than they are just kind of getting rid of the ball at times. Yeah, I've certainly seen that with a few of the teams that we've been playing, especially recently. I think Alabama's doing a, a good job of keeping some two-touch rhythm when they do win the ball on transition as well, though. SEC team, the Alabama Crimson Tide, playing in their fourth NCAA tournament. BYU in its 22nd. Olivia Wade's got it on the right wing, 30 yards from goal. Plays it centrally to Shepard straight away. Jamie Shepard rolls it to Ken, uh, Michaela Coulihan. BYU in the All-Royals, Alabama the All-Whites. Bouncing ball in the attacking third. Finds Coulihan's boot again. Michaela toward the halfway line. Will play backward to Leveni Vaca at the center stripe. Vaca to Grace Johnson. Johnson took a kick in the face in the third minute. And is patched up and playing after leaving the, the pa- a pitch for about 10 minutes. Kendall Peterson, left flank. Nice move around Powell. Peterson lays off Coulihan. Coulihan at 35 yards. Down the barrel. To space, wide right, Smith. Smith to 25 yards, racing past her mark, lost on our last touch, and it'll be collected by Riley Tanner at the far side of the pitch. Take away by Alabama. They play down the left flank and look to counter. Felicia Knox sees a pass blocked over the touch line for an Alabama throw at the far side of the park. Greg Rubel, Rachel Manning Jorgensen with you from the 3600 seat venue. Clockner Stadium here in Charlottesville, Virginia, home of the Cavaliers. Cavaliers and Milwaukee play the nightcap here tonight. It feels much more like nightfall with every passing minute. The dark clouds, the sun has set. We hope the rain stays away as the Cougars come away in the neutral third. Michaela Coulihan to her right to Olivia Wade. A central ball to Michaela Moore. Moore turns to face the goal at 35 yards. Plays Cam Tucker at 25. Tucker, back play to Coulihan. Return to Cam. Cam tried to send McKaylee Moore through. The ball loose for Tucker. Tucker's upended in the 18. The whistle is blown. And the referee points to the spot. It'll be a PK for BYU. Michaela Coulihan won the foul. And she will certainly be going to the spot to put BYU up 2-0. We are in the 20th minute. Penalty kick for Brigham Young. So to the spot goes Michaela Coulihan. Michaela looking for a 49th goal and 14th of this year will step to the dot in a 1-0 match we're in the 20th minute Michaela Coulihan 2 for 3 on her PKs this season the ball yet to be placed our referee today is Lucas Feathers he'll let Michaela place the ball on the white dot 12 yards from goal. Michaela sets the ball. Players wait poised at the top of the 18. Michaela bent at the waist. Will back step. Counter steps. Here's the whistle. The approach. Slow. Step up. Shot. Score! Inside the left post. 2-0 BYU. Michaela Coolahan. Cool as they come. And the Cougars lead 2-0 in the 20th. The right-footed shot kept low inside the left post. And the Cougars have a commanding lead early in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Michaela Coulihan, 14th goal of the year. 49th in her spectacular BYU career. And who's done it? Cam and Kayla. One apiece. 2-0 Cougs in the 20th. Fantastic.
I love that step up from Michaela Coulihan. She just stepped up to the spot, was so calm and composed, but confident in herself. And she spent so much time after practice and on her own working on those set pieces and, you know, waiting for her opportunity when her name is called. And she just did a great job up there of stepping up confident and tucking it away. 20th minute marker from Michaela Coulihan. After Cam Tucker opened things in the fourth, it is BYU 2, Alabama 0. And that, friends, is goal number 70 on the year for this prolific, productive, and supremely talented BYU women's soccer team. 70 goals scored, only 15 allowed, plus 55 in the goal differential. This is a college soccer juggernaut marching through the postseason. Olivia Smith plays it long. Blocked by the Crimson Tide back line toward the halfway line. Riley Tanner collects there, and she gave it away to Olivia Wade. Wade pressured immediately by Felicia Knox. Wade says bye, Felicia, as she passes back to Olivia Smith. Smith now into the attacking half. Centrally, Coolahan. Coolahan latching out of the bouncing ball. Michaela Coolahan steps on the ball and is upended. We'll say that Michaela fouled as she dove after that last touch. It'll be a foul on Coolahan, and Michaela. Arguing to the contrary to no avail, and it'll be a free kick for the Crimson Tide in their defensive third. We are in the 21st minute, BYU 2, Alabama no score. Long ball played white, right, settled there by Sarepka. Ashlyn Sarepka tried to send Reagan Powell down the right channel. Leveni Vaca got to it first and takes away for BYU. Great play by Leveni. Comes down the flank with it, but the pass too long for Kendall Peterson. Interception by Skorka. Skorka. Knox, Sarepka across top of the 18, skip past the intended target, Riley Tanner, and the Cougars come on the counter. Olivia Wade has it, and plenty of space toward the halfway line. Wade plays a 30-yard ball left for Brecken Mozingo. Mozingo's got space. 3v3 right now for BYU. Brecken, top of the 18, getting into the 18, steps past to Mark. Left foot across, she goes up for 90 with it, and just over the crossbar. Brecken Mozingo, a second blast over the bar today. Substitution, BYU, Rachel McCarthy will check in. Zions Bank substitution. We see this often. It'll be McCarthy in for Moore about the same time of the match. You'll see that substitution made almost halfway through the first half. So Moore checks out. McCarthy checks in. Substitution brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Cameron Tucker in the fourth. Michaela Coolhan in the 20th. BYU 2, Alabama 0. Today's winner gets Virginia or Milwaukee on Saturday for a right to play in the Elite 8. Daviana Vaca on the halfway line to Shepard. Shepard back lines it to Grace Johnson. Cassidy Smith comes off her line to play and plays into touch. Bit of a misplay there, but it'll give the Cougars a chance to throw in and catch their breath. Off a rare giveaway for BYU in this one. Skorka in to Allie Burke. Burke saw it taken away. BYU on the dispossess. Space on the back line to Olivia Smith. She ropes a 40-yard ball down the pitch. Rachel McCarthy gives chase. Now a back line to it cleanly. The play to the keeper. Crone. And it'll go all the way into the Cougars' defensive half. So BYU looks to build from the back. Alabama's made a substitution on the back line. Tana sanchez Corretto checking in after they went down 2-0. Long ball for BYU. Too long for Mozingo over the goal line for an Alabama corner kick here in the 24th. Another substitution for the Crimson Tide. Felicia Knox will check out. Two subs, actually. Knox and Powell both check out. And checking in are Kate Henderson and Kat Rogers. Coach Wes Hart doesn't go too terribly deep on his bench. He's already used three of the most regular subs he'll bring in. And sometimes there's only four in a match. BYU wins the throw. And Alabama clearly back heel here. Difficult to string passes together. Cougars have the edge in possession. Grace Johnson with a nice individual win to get into the attacking third. Finds Coolahan. Coolahan looking down the barrel. Comes left with it. Short ball to McCarthy. Tried the 1-2 back to Caleb, but two close quarters. And then Jamie Shepard will whistle a shot from 30-plus yards. It'll be a two-hopper to the keeper, McKinley Crone, who handles the keeper kit today for Alabama. Is highlighter yellow slash green. And for BYU, Cassidy Smith's keeper kit is all black. With fluorescent yellow and orange outlines. As Leveni Vaca 
As the ball go off, Rude into the boundary. It'll be Alabama with a throw in the attacking third for the Crimson Tide. Cross comes in from the deep right from Leah Cundy. And Cundy is the fourth substitution in this match for Alabama. And Coach Wes Hart has now gone about as deeply as he goes into his bench as this team's gone down 2-0. And Coach Hart looking for a spark. But all the flames have been coming from BYU. Cougars 8-0 in shots, 4-0 in shots on goal, 2-0 on the scoreboard. A hopeful ball for the Cougs, too ambitious. It'll bounce all the way past the byline. As the wind picks up, the flags to our right almost stiffly straight across. It's been a pleasant enough day, but steadily windy. And again, we're hoping that the wind just brings the clouds that have been gathering over us without anything dropping from them. As Bella Foligno subs in for BYU, taking out Brecken Mozingo. Zions Bank substitution presented by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. A nod down by Olivia Smith to Bella Foligno. Foligno with 23 goals in her BYU career. A great number individually. And you play with teammates that have now 42 and 49 in their careers. Tucker and Coolahan, respectively. Kendall Peterson gave it away in the attacking half. And here comes Kate Henderson for Alabama. Down the right wing, tried to play Cundy. The ball falls to Cundy. Cundy comes laterally with it. A toe poke ahead to Allie Burke. Burke, left wing Tanner. Layoff to Clem. Macy Clem back lines it to Rainer Reyes. Reyes ahead Tanner, and no one home on the Tanner touch. Rolls all the way to BYU's back line. Grace Johnson will play it toward the byline. See some pressure and play into touch. It'll be an Alabama throw at the far side. Deep in the Crimson Tide attacking third. Coming to you from Clockner Stadium, Charlottesville, Virginia. Home of the Cavaliers, who host Milwaukee in the nightcap tonight. Winner gets BYU or Bama on Saturday. 5 o'clock Eastern uh, Mountain Time, 7 Eastern. 7 Eastern for the Milwaukee, Virginia kick tonight. Riley Tanner possessing and try to get into the attacking penalty area. A slide tackle there from BYU. It'll be over the byline for an uh, Alabama corner kick. Olivia Wade knocked out, and so Crimson Tide win their fourth corner of this first half. Four to one, Alabama in corners. That's the only real meaningful place they lead on the stat sheet right now. And meaning can be debated when they trail 2-0. Left-footed, outswinger, volleyed out by Felino. Felino's fresh legs challenge Riley Tanner, who plays to the halfway line, to Sasha Pickard. Pickard ahead Cundy. Cundy, Clem. Clem, a left wing play. Alabama winning a 1v1 on the outside of the left penalty area. It was Allie Burke on the win. Bama keeps it in the attacking third. Ball far touch line. Coming centrally, Reyes. Burke from 40 yards to the right side of the penalty area. A one touch setup. Ends up on the boot of Grace Johnson, who gave it right back to Alabama. Bama keeps the pressure on here in the attacking half. Some rare sustained possession for Alabama here in the 28th minute. BYU 2 and Alabama no score. A challenge near the halfway line by Rachel McCart uh, by Cam Tucker, beg your pardon. And played out into touch off of Cam. Off a bouncing ball, Alabama to the attacking third. Now final third, now penalty area. T Tanner slid. Shot to the top of the six and just wide right. The turn and fire from Allie Burke. A good look off a bouncing ball to the top of the goal box and nearly 2-1, but the ball sails wide right outside the right post and it stays 2-0 in the 29th. So the best look Bama's had so far. And it was a good swing by Burke and nearly halved BYU's lead. Goal kick for Cassidy Smith. Vaca. Shepard, the one-two back to Leveni. She'll cross the pitch and flip it from left to right. To Grace Johnson. Johnson ahead to Olivia Smith. Smith, center stripe. Lateral ball, Shepard. Back lines it, Vaca. Vaca's got Peterson, and Peterson slipped and fell before she could get to the ball, so it's a giveaway for BYU over the near sideline. Throw in coming it up for Alabama. Ball is in. Skorka, double teamed. Play centrally, Clem. Clem. Back lines Pickard. Pickard, Reyes. Reyes at the far touch line. 
Cuts it back into the attacking half to Riley Tanner. Tanner, Burke, Burke, shields and goes. Tried to find her target in the attacking half, and it was Cat Rogers not able to receive the pass on a foul from BYU or just off of BYU out of bounds. Off of BYU out of bounds for a throw in for Alabama. They take it in the finishing third. Reyes, Clem. Crimson Tide working on the right side of the pitch. Coulihan popped it into the air off the head of Pickard. Off the boot of an Alabama midfielder at the halfway line. The ball bounces off a of BYU boot all the way to the keeper, McKinley Crone, who whips it out there to Jessica Skorka at right back. Skorka targeting Cundy, and Petey stepped into it. Off of Petey into touch for an Alabama throw. They take it at the halfway line. A head down by Vaca, off the boot of Shepard, given away to the Crimson Tide near the center stripe. Allie Burke wheeling away from pressure. Nearly gave it away to a high-pressuring Cameron Tucker, but it goes all the way to Pickard on the back line. Pickard Clem at the halfway stripe. Tries to send Tanner through down the left wing. Olivia Smith reaches the ball first and plays off of Riley Tanner for a BYU throw. So the Cougars conceding a little bit of possession here as the first half goes along. Ellie Mon and Daviana Vaca will check in. Zions Bank substitutions brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. The entering players will take out Olivia Wade and Olivia Smith. So the two Olivias will check out in the 21st, the 31st minute, beg your pardon. 31st minute of a match BYU leads 2-0. Tucker in the fourth and Coulihan in the 20th. Michaela scoring from the spot, her third PK goal of the year. Three for four on spot kicks this season is Michaela Coulihan, who's now one goal away from 50 for her BYU career. A foul as Kendall Peterson was hip checked as she was bringing the ball off the pitch. They'll bring it back and give BYU a free kick as the wind picks up an intensity here in Charlottesville. You can hear it in our pitch side mic. And the direction of the wind is. Uh, gone from southerly to more westerly now. The flags remain pretty starched out. Loose ball to Rachel McCarthy. McCarthy with a quick surge into the attacking penalty area and couldn't keep it in on the end line. It crawled over. Couldn't get her cross across before it went over the byline for a goal okay. kick. The Crimson Tide will take here in the 32nd minute. BYU Women's Soccer brought to you in part by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. Can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Play away by the Crimson Tide. Right back, Skorka. Skorka at the halfway line. Skorka into the attacking half to Cundy. Cundy challenged by Kendall Peterson, who plays into touch for an Alabama throw. 33rd minute, BYU 2, Alabama 0, our score. Cougars 0-2 against the SEC this year. Rachel going to Arkansas and to Auburn, losing both of those. But scoring early and scoring again to go up 2-0 in this one. Be good to get one against the SEC this year, and no better time to do it than in the postseason. Right, I'm sure with those two early games this season with Auburn and Arkansas, they, BYU would you know, certainly like to play that game again if they could. But with this game today, they came out early and strong. And you know one of the mottos, score first, score early, score again. They've been able to do that today. Cougars play a direct ball down the middle. Nice play on the back line. Keep it away from Rachel McCarthy, who was on rushing. Tana sanchez Corretto plays ahead to Burke, dispossessed by Coulihan. Ball rebounds to Shepard. Shepard, Felino on the left wing. Felino comes laterally toward the center part of the park. Bella Felino, ball at her boot. Sees it blocked away. She recollects and finds Kendall Peterson in space down the deep left flank. Peterson gets into the 18. Last touch took her deep, and the deflected cross will result in a corner kick for BYU. It will indeed. So BYU's second corner of the match to Alabama's four. It's a Mountain America Credit Union, Union, Union corner Union. kick presented by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. They initially signaled the far corner, but it'll be a near side corner kick, an attacking left flag corner for Rachel McCarthy, right-footed in swinger, forthcoming. And here we go in the 34th. Ball in the air, whipping toward the crossbar. Double punch off of Mon, Off a second BYU player, Cam Tucker, deep in the box, and leaping to it is McKinley Crone to save it and keep it out of the back of the net. Well-played cross by Rachel McCarthy, angling toward the frame, actually. And it was a punch from Crone that kept it out. A couple of looks from BYU, but Crone ends the threat 
as McCar as Coulihan ends up with a loose ball in the final third. Plays Tucker. Tucker knocked down. Play on. And then Coulihan knocked down. Play on. So Tucker and McCoolahan both knocked down on hip checks within seconds of each other and no call. It's loose. Peterson, Felino, McCarthy, centrally Tucker, rolled past her. And not able to get a shot off was Ellie Mon at the right side of the penalty area. Good play into the threatening area for BYU, but nothing out of it at the end of it. Reina Reyes to the midfield to Burke. A layoff to Tanner, and it goes all the way to the Alabama back line. Tanner down that left flank. Does a lot of running down that side. Foul by Daviana Vaca. It'll be a free kick for Alabama. And the clock will be stopped in the 36th minute. As the official has a word with Davi. No card. But they did stop the clock for the uh, conversation. BYU, 10 shots to 3. 6 nothing in shots on frame. Alabama without a shot on goal yet. This Cougar team leading the nation in shots has put 6 on frame and 2 to the back of the net. Riley Tanner tries to handle a high ball down the left wing, and it'll be off of Tanner's head and out for a BYU throw. Cougs leading it 2-0. We approach halftime. 36th minute. BYU scored in the 4th and the 20th. There are two leading scorers doing the damage, Tucker and Coulihan, respectively. BYU looking to go to 2-0 all-time against Bama, leading the game 2-0. Long ball too far for Cameron Tucker. It'll call to go to Crone in her defensive 18. So throw it out to Cat Rogers. Rogers dispossessed, ends up with Sanchez Corretto, Skorka. Skorka's got Cundy ahead of her and Ali Burke as well. Targeted Burke, bounced away from Burke. Coulihan, Vaca. Vaca, Felino, Peterson. Peterson and Burke collide at the halfway line, and after all that, it's Alabama possession. Cat Rogers plays it direct down the middle, off the chest of Kate Henderson. Played Burke. Burke was upended by Felino. Foul. Nope, no foul. Play on. And Peterson will blast from back line to midline, and Cameron Tucker goes down hard off the challenge from Tana Sanchez Corretto. And Corretto just hard into the backside of. Cameron Tucker. Tucker down for a moment, does get up, and will proceed with play, but the foul is called, and it'll give BYU a free kick that the Cougars will take from 55 yards on the left angle. Coulihan restarts quickly to Leveni. Back to Coulihan at 40 yards straight away. Plays to open space on the right side of the pitch to Daviana Vaca. Vaca cutting it to her left and plays it left and all the way to the center line. Grace Johnson will let it roll to Leveni Vaca. The two center backs working from the midfield stripe. Ahead of the holding midfielder, Shepard. Shepard back to Leveni Vaca. Now she'll lace a 40-yard ball down the pitch. Bounces away from Mon. Off the Crimson Tide out of bounds. It'll be a touchline throw for BYU as the Cougs will sub, as will Alabama. Addie Gardner will check in for the Cougars, replacing Cameron Tucker. Cameron's half is done. Ali Burke will check out for the Crimson Tide, replaced by Emily Kobler. And Coach Wes Hart has gone about as deep as he goes now. I think all the subs that I have on my board have played in this match. All but for Iceland Streisick, just one sub that hasn't been used, that he's been regularly using. Uh, Michaela Coolahan, 30-yard layoff to Shepard. Shepard wide left, Peterson. Peterson deep into the area. Ahead by the Crimson Tide, and it'll go over the goal line for another BYU corner kick. The Cougars' third corner of the match. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick brought to you by Mountain America. For, for BYU. BYU corner three comes uh, from the attacking left flag. Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Rachel McCarthy will do it again. Her last corner nearly went in the net. Another right-footed in-swinger coming from Rachel. Jersey number 33 drops both arms. Boot to ball. Similar looking kick, but more of a severe angle into the top netting this time. So it'll be Alabama coming the other way. Seen a good number of substitutions for BYU here in the first half. 39th minute. We approach the 40th with a 2-0 BYU lead. All of our subs brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Ball over the near paint, and it'll be a throw in for Alabama. Skorka. Rogers, Skorka, Sanchez Corretto, Clem, Rogers, Cundy. She and Peterson collide. Loose ball. Peters uh, to Shepard, Jamie Shepard. To space on the right side of the pitch. Daviana Vaca. Laterally, Mon. Back lines it, Johnson. 
39th minute. BYU 2, Alabama 0. Off the head of Bella Felino. Long ball left. Bella couldn't control it. Leapt in the air. Just skipped off her noggin out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Alabama. BYU making its 22nd NCAA tournament appearance. Ninth in the last 10 years. Alabama in a fourth tournament all time. They picked up their first ever NCAA tournament win last week at Clemson. An upset to make it to the second round. BYU with a win today would have its 20th NCAA tournament victory all time. One of the very best programs in the country with a 2-0 lead here in this one. Looking to make it to the Sweet 16. Shepard, center circle, Mon. Mon gave it away. Alabama gave it right back. Leveni Va- Daviana Vaca back lines at Grace Johnson. Back to Davi. Davi sees it go toward the far boundary. Played Gardner. Gardner couldn't control it. Alabama back lines it. Now midfields it. And now again building from the back. The Crimson Tide. Jessica Skorka at right back with Rachel McCarthy giving chase. Skorka just lets it loose down the right wing. Leveni Vaca will play into touch on backside pressure as she neared the byline. Steady wind whips now toward the east as we get to the 41st minute of a match. BYU leads 2-0. Throw in for Alabama deep in their attacking third on the near sideline. Alabama going left to right as we see it and you hear it. BYU right to left here in the first half. Cat Rogers collects it 30 yards angle left. Plays it on the ground at the top of the penalty area. The layoff is to Pickard. Beg your pardon, Reyes. Now Tanner back to Reyes. Reyes tries a shot that's blocked by Jamie Shepard. Played out by Addy Gardner. Midfield collection by Alabama. They find space on the right side to Skorka. BYU players down. That's Michaela Coulihan. She's yet to get up. Now does rise to her feet as the Crimson Tide play a far post ball. That's loose in the area. Oh, a near volley, but a nice poke away from BYU to save that. It was Leveni Vaca playing it out of the air to clear the area and the threat for BYU. Bama blasted back in, but over the goal line, away from frame for a goal kick. BYU will take here in the 42nd minute. Cougars in control throughout. Ten shots to four. Six-nothing in shots on goal. Two-nothing to the back of the net. The only category Alabama leads right now is the corner kick category at four to three. Jamie Shepard tried to play back to her keeper, and that's a misplay. That's over the goal line for a corner kick that Alabama will take here in the 42nd minute. Jamie Shepard just tried to play it back to her keeper, but just laced it. Just a lot of heat on that one. And Cass couldn't get to it, and it goes over the goal line for an Alabama corner. Just don't want to give the Crimson Tide any kind of opening in a match you're dominating, and that was a kind of a strange play for BYU. Shot. Two places, number two. So Ma- Macy Clem will exit the match. Madison Schott, who's not seen action in the last couple of matches, checks in for Alabama. Crimson Tide have a top of the area. Just over the crossbar, top netting as the shot came. And that was an opening for Alabama. And that was a threatening shot from Jessica Skorka. Goal kick for BYU in the 43rd minute. A dicey moment there, Rachel. Yeah, I mean, despite having the 2-0 lead, you never feel quite comfortable or confident even with that 2-0 lead. So BYU... It's important for them to stay disciplined on defense and be communicating out there with those openings and stay tight on their marks. Uh, the old soccer cliche comes to play 2 0, the most dangerous lead in soccer. Well, the Kooks have that one right now as we get to the 43rd minute. BYU 2, Alabama 0. Tucker and Coolahan. You sense Alabama a little more desperate, kind of a little. More pressure close on every ball. A tug by Kendall Peterson. She'll be called for a foul. She may get a conversation. Clock will, I think the clock will stop, yeah. Referee's going to bring Kendall Peterson over. I don't, see, yep, he's reaching for a card. Yep, that was a, the kind of foul that will get you a card. She reached out, tugged the jersey, pulled the player down. And so going in the book is Kendall Peterson for BYU. So Petey picking up the yellow. And it'll be a free kick for Alabama from 30 to 35 yards on a sharp angle to the right side of the pitch. We approach halftime. Less than two minutes to go until the break. Skorka will take. Lofts it toward the penalty dot. Knotted down by BYU. Battle for the ball at the top of the area. 
Alabama setting up for a shot. Nice shot blocked by Leveni Vaca. They head back into the top of the penalty area. And now Kendall Peterson's got to deal with it and just plays it into the supporters area. And for another Alabama throw in, 90 seconds to go until halftime. Off the throw. Alabama playing better soccer last 10 minutes. Here's a counter, though, for Michaela Coulihan as she wins the ball in the back third, plays to the neutral third, racing onto it is Rachel McCarthy. McCarthy leads the ball for Addie Gardner down the left wing. Gardner centrally. Coulihan. Coulihan's got space at 20 yards. Coulihan into the area. Whips a shot that's blocked by Sasha Pickard, top of the 18. Nice play by Pickard minute, off the boot of Coulihan. Final 60 half. seconds of the first half. BYU 2. Alabama no score. Can the Cougars get to the half with a clean sheet lead of 2-0? Coulihan straight away at 30. Wide right, Ellie Mon. Mon cross from the right. The service in, skipping past the head of Felino. Off the head of McCarthy and cleared off the boot of Reina Reyes to the midfield. Leveni Vaca to twin sister Davi at the far side of the pitch. Daviana Vaca plays Mon down the left flank. Tried to lead the ball for Gardner. Pickard got to it first. Gardner wins the ball away from Pickard. Gets herself into the 18. Play centrally. Coolahan. A score! The one-touch win by Caleb. And the Cougars take the 3-0 lead in the 45th minute. The ball was won from Pickard. Played in centrally. And a one-touch swing by Michaela Coolahan. A brace here in the first. The right-booted swing. And the Cougs a dominant 3-0 lead approaching halftime. You love to see that mentality from Addie on not giving up on the play back there. She just stuck with it and was able to win the ball back from the defender and was able to cross it in. And Kayla, just a beautiful, beautiful one-touch finish to keep the ball down. Great job by BYU, especially with the so much, so little time left in the half. Excuse me. The freshman Addie Gardner with her first assist as a Cougar to go along with two goals this year. A beautiful play to get the ball away from the defensive player Pickard, and then the cross came in and a one-touch swing by Kayla. Back of the net it goes. Five seconds to go here in the first half. BYU is cruising toward the Sweet 16 here in Charlottesville. We are at halftime. BYU three, and Alabama no score, a first half brace for Michaela Coulihan. Cougs on top as we take a break. Halftime coverage from Charlottesville coming up next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.